Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we will look at a very simple inspection that you can do if your engine refuses to crank when you are trying to start your engine. It will be a frustrating experience when you want to start your engine and uh, all of a sudden everything goes bad and you hear nothing. That will be very frustrating, especially if you are in a hurry. So, what could go wrong that can lead to no crank, no start condition. Well, in this video, we are going to see eight probable causes that can lead to such a problem. And we will also discuss what you can do to inspect and pinpoint the cause of the problem. Well, the number one cause, usually the most frequent cause of engine not cranking and not starting at all, will be battery related problem so number one check to see if your battery terminal connections are loose if they are corroded or if they are somehow disconnected from the battery check the cable terminals at the battery tighten the cable or remove corrosion as necessary then the second cause which is also related to the battery is more probably a discharged battery or a faulty battery. If the cable connections are clean and tight, turn the ignition key to the on position and switch on the headlights and the windshield wipers as well. If they fail to function, the battery is discharged. So that's an easy way of checking if the headlight is bright and if the wiper motors are also running nicely then your battery is in good condition but if they both fail to function probably you might have dead battery the third probable cause of this problem is if you are driving an automatic transmission vehicle probably in the automatic transmission park and neutral might not be properly engaged if park or neutral is not properly engaged in the automatic transmission gear selector, that will lead to no crank, no start situation. Or if you are driving a manual transmission where there is a start switch connected to the clutch pedal, clutch pedal not completely depressed can also lead to this problem. So check to see if your clutch is fully traveling to the floor. If you have something under the clutch pedal that prevented full travel, that will disconnect the starter motor circuit and prevent your vehicle from being started. The fourth probable cause of an engine not cranking and not starting at all could be a broken or a disconnected wiring in the starting circuit. Inspect to see if all the wiring and connectors at the battery at the starter motor solenoid and at the ignition switch are proper. Any loose or discontinuity can lead to such a problem. Number five, if there is a problem with the starter motor pinion, for example, if the pinion is jammed in the flywheel ring gear somehow, that could lead to such a problem. If you are driving a manual transmission type, place the transmission in gear and rock the vehicle to manually turn the engine so that the starter motor pinion gear can be removed from the ring gear. Faulty ignition switch is another probable cause of engine not cranking and not starting at all. So check to see if there are any loose terminals at the ignition switch, if there are any broken wires, disconnected wires or blown out fuses at the ignition circuit. A faulty starter motor can also be a problem. So the seventh problem is a faulty starter motor itself. If the starter motor is not responding at all, if all the circuits are perfect, if all the circuits are intact, and if the battery is in good condition, probably the starter motor might have gone bad. So the number seventh problem is a starter motor that is not working properly. And finally, if the starter motor is probably right, and finally, we might have a broken or damaged starter motor solenoid. 
Well, the starter motor solenoid, besides engaging the pinion gear to the flywheel ring gear, it also does some electrical switching activity. So if there is a problem with the starter motor solenoid, you probably will have no cranking and no starting at all. So these are some of the things that you can check. In order to review, number one, battery terminal connections. Check to see if you have a bad battery terminal connection. Number two, if there is a discharged battery. So there is a simple trick, turn on the headlight, turn on the windshield wiper and see if they are in good condition or not. If they are bright light and if the wipers are working nicely, your battery is probably in good shape. The other one is related to the powertrain. If you are driving an automatic transmission vehicle, if the gear is not in park or in neutral, probably the engine will not be started due to this problem. And if you are driving a manual transmission vehicle, there are some manual transmission vehicles where the starter circuit is somehow associated to the clutch pedal. So you have to depress the clutch pedal to activate the starter motor circuit. So check to see if that is the case. And the fourth problem is a broken, loose or disconnected wiring in the starting circuit itself. If, for example, the line going to the solenoid switch is disconnected, and inspect all wiring and connectors at the battery, at the starter motor, at the starter motor solenoid, and at the ignition switch. And the next problem is when there is a problem with the pinion jamming in the flywheel ring gear. If the starter motor pinion is jammed somehow left in the ring gear, that will lead to a no crank and no start situation. So if you are driving a manual transmission vehicle, place the gear in gear and then rock your vehicle so that the flywheel ring gear will be disconnected from the starter motor pinion. And the other problem is associated with the ignition switch circuit. If there is faulty ignition switch, when it turns the ignition switch to the start position, the ignition switch should provide battery voltage to the starter motor terminal 50. So if the ignition switch is not providing electricity to the starter motor circuit, if there is a faulty starter motor, I mean, if there is a faulty ignition switch, that can also lead to a no crank, no start situation. The other one is a problem with the starter motor itself. If there is a faulty motor, that can lead to this situation. And finally, if there is a problem with the starter motor solenoid. If there is a faulty solenoid that will be working electrical job as well, besides engaging the ring gear and the pinion. So if there is a faulty solenoid switch, that can also lead to no crank and no start situation. Well, I hope this video is helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like it, uh, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video related to automobiles. Till then, stay safe.